Hello and welcome to this conversation, the Morning Tea Market with Mrs. We get together every so often. I hope that you've seen all the other episodes. We have been talking about different things that can grow your business online, help you with your marketing for small business owners and sole traders for the past 12 months. And we're still focused on what you might need to do to start planning a business for the year. Now, your hosts are the same four people that have been sitting here for the last 12 months, not in the same spot. We actually go home and <laughs> out of it. But we've got Narelle Gaddy, and Narelle is an accredited accessibility auditor. Myself, Janine Vospa, I help people step up to stand out because they get their pitch right. Kate Smith is a graphic designer and she works with service based industries. And Jan Roche has two businesses one's BizConnect with design and over 50s help. And you hear us talking about our businesses and how we help our clients throughout all the different topics that we're doing. Uh, that we're speaking about but you can also learn a little bit more about us in the show notes on youtube so please check that out and if there's anything that you like get in touch with us today narelle is this is the fourth episode on the planning and narelle is going to be talking to us about the tools we need i think is that right narelle yeah because look it's been a great four weeks janine you started off talking about your mission your vision and then kate took over and gave us some really good ideas about vision boards and different ways to do the vision boards. Obviously, for me, being blind, an audio board will be my vision board. And then Jan took the vision and the mission and she's broken it down into goals. What I'm looking at is, okay, we've got all these great goals. We've got our mission. We've got our vision. We've got our wonderful vision board hidden or wherever you've got it. And what about the resourcing that is needed to meet your goals? And obviously your areas of resourcing are people, your tools, your time, which Jan covered anyway in the goals, but there's still time still has to be planned because you still have to have a life, you still have to work, you have children, some of us are lucky enough, our children have all moved away and don't live with us, I love my sons, but they don't mm -hmm. live with me, but you know what I'm saying, there's still planning to be done at this level now, and it is probably the next important step you can have all these other great tools but if you haven't planned your resources you're not going to make it and I think for me I would always start looking at with your goals your people how many people do you need to implement your goals what are the skill sets of the people you need what are the you know roles that they need to fulfill do you need a marketing person do you need someone to hold each end of the weight bar to hit the 100k because I can tell you unless it's someone at each end and you drop it you're going to make one heck of a loud sound if there's not someone there to make sure you've picked it up or if you're doing a chest press and your plan is to lift a 80k chest press plan to have someone on each end of your weight bar you know what what are your plans have you got a plan b and c so if someone's off sick that the work still gets done. And then once you've sort of looked at your resourcing and you've looked at your planning for people, think about the communication styles of your clients. Not everyone actually asks, and, and you run into it all the time, do you want it by email? Do you want to print it out? Do you want audio? Take that into account because that then becomes one of the skill sets that you need to ensure that the people you have doing the work have mm. yeah. then once mm. you've got your people well what tools are they going to use do you have the right computers do you have the phones do you have the cars do you have the desk do you are they going to work from home are you do you need zoom are you going to use teams what apps what are the tools that you need that the people can do the work to meet the goals, which is going to meet your mission, which is going to meet your vision. Mm -hmm. And it is probably at that level where when you look at your goal chunking, which is what Jan was talking about and breaking your goals down, because if in 60 days mm -hmm. you want to achieve A, B and C, well, you might only need two people to achieve that mm -hmm. if they've got the right skill set and if they've got the right tools. And if they've got the communication styles that you need, it's, it's probably one of the most important parts after the goals 
to get that resourcing right because you're never going to meet you're never going to meet your vision if you don't plan for it in other words if you've got your 100 kilo deadlift that you want to do but you don't have 100 kilos in weight <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> it's not going to work. Or, you know, if, like for me, um, in one of the plans that we've got, one of our goals is, you know, get 10 new clients over the year. And the reason we've chosen 10, that's about one every six weeks. Because for us, we've got to educate people about the importance of accessibility and get them to see the need for why it's important. And then... They've got to put it into their plans, their budget, everything else. So if we said 20, that's not achievable. 10, well, we've got our fingers and toes crossed, but we're also going to work for it. We're breaking, tomorrow's our goal-setting meeting, to break it down into chunks. And I'm going to be sitting there saying, I think we need to put in, we get 10 new clients. Well, how do we do it? What resourcing, what marketing do we need? What are the qualifications of the people do, that, that we require to do the work? How are we going to pay for it? That's a good one to budget for as well. You know, what budgeting planning are you doing? It, it comes down to at that level, the strategic tools at a whole of business level, not down in, into the smaller, that person doing that job. We're not at that stage. All we're saying is we need this many people. These are the tools. These are the skill sets. And then once you've done that, it's the time because if you've suddenly got four people working for you, well, your goals might not have changed, but your plan's going to change because suddenly you're working with four people who they're working to you. So then you've got to look after more things there again. So suddenly your time management's going to change. Mm -hmm. So it's just such an important area that, yeah, just plan your resourcing mix. Get it right. To meet your goals, having your goals right will meet your mission and your mission right will meet your vision mm -hmm. and have that visual, or in my case, audio reminder every day that you can look at it. I've got sitting, I've got a piece of paper. Don't know, ask me why it's on paper, but I've got it on really big and I look at it and think, oh, yeah, I can't read it, but I know what's written on that piece of paper. Mm -hmm. It's a visual reminder yeah. for me. That someone else wrote it, that doesn't matter. It's my visual reminder for where I want to go next. I, that's, I, I, think? I think a lot of us don't think about those things. We mm. set the goals in place, but those aspects of that as mm. to, you know, people you were talking about stuff, but people is also mm. clients, as you said, how many clients do you need? So that's, yeah. and then mm. the steps on, well, where do I need to go to meet those people? Yeah. How do I, how do I market to them? Where in, where do I find them? You know, that's those those steps. The the tools you need, you know, is this the right software to be able to achieve those goals? Mm -hmm. And I know we talked about this last year, and it'd be really interesting for people to go back and find this particular conversation about what things you don't need. Yeah. As well, what things you can delete, uh, what different software that you may be paying for that you can delete or you can, you know, there's different things that you've got set up that you can that you just don't need any longer that you can remove so that's another aspect as as well because we often just it's it's like they remind us to check our insurance each year and see whether we can get a better deal and i think because insurance is going up so much people are starting to do that now rather than just letting it roll over and it's the same with everything that you've got not letting it just roll over yeah that's it exactly it's it's looking at every aspect or everything that's going to go into meeting that goal every tool, every person, you know, because once you've got the goals, you know the resourcing you need. Mm -hmm. Then it's looking at what you've got, what you need, and filling in the gaps, mm -hmm. that good old gap analysis, as we say in the IT trade, because that's what it's about. It's gap analysis to make sure that you can quite reasonably achieve what you want to achieve in a smart, measured and timely fashion yeah and timely is important too because mm -hmm. you don't want to buy 100 kilos of weights on the first day because you're not going to lift them all that day maybe so maybe buy the 60 kilos and then you can incrementally buy a few more budgeting yeah. 
yeah, I often budget, put notes yeah. to my calendar to say, yeah, cancel that subscription because I know I'm going to need it for X amount of time. Yeah. And then after this project is done, I no longer need that. Mm. I put a note for myself so that it doesn't just roll over and over. Yeah. Or I put something in, okay, we're going to need to order this because we're going to need it for that project coming up. So, yeah, yeah. scheduling exactly. that stuff in is handy. It, yeah, I, and then go, Janine, sorry. I was going to say with the gap analysis as well, um, and I'm, I'm in, looking at the, the four of us and what we do. So if you know that your business and your website is not accessible to, mm. to everybody, well, then we you need to figure out that's that gap, then we've got Norel that can fill that gap. If you know that you're not getting the the hits on your website, then you know, there's Jan who who can help you fill that gap. Mm. If you are if you're trying to, you know, do all the different designs for yourself and your website, and you know that's just taking up more time than you could possibly afford being out of your business doing it then you've got mm. Kate if you can't if you want to put your get sales techniques or get your pitch happening and you know that you need help with that then that's a gap that you need to fill and that I'm and I am talking about what each of our skills are because mm. that's such an important thing to know that this is a gap I have in my business mm. and I need to fill it and there's four topics here I mean four different components it could be it could be bookkeepers it could be whatever it is, but making sure that you fill that gap. That's it. And and again, you know, if you're bringing in a bookkeeper, that that bookkeeper and their values are going to align with your business mm. because it's no point in going and getting a bookkeeper that really doesn't understand graphic design or doesn't have a bit of an idea about it because you will spend more time talking to them about it instead of them doing what they're required to do. Mm -hmm. Or like I ran into a, a tax accountant who does bookkeeping for hospitality and that's where she specialises because she understands the industry. Mm -hmm. And for her, she doesn't have to sit there and talk, you know, ask all those million and one questions to learn the industry. She already knows it. For mm -hmm. her, it comes down to picking it up and running with it. As a, you know, if you're getting someone in to do some work, you don't you 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 expect to do a certain amount of training, yes, but you don't sometimes have the time to train them from scratch. And for the example of a bookkeeper, you wouldn't expect to have to train them in how to do the bookkeeping when no. that's the role they're applying for. Yes, that they would have that knowledge and experience. Mm. The tweaks would maybe be around how you do certain things, you know, different processes that you have. Mm. But for the task, for the role that they're going to fill, they need to know what they're doing. Mm. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. it. It's the skill set. Mm. And it's the values. You know, for me, yeah, I work a lot of hours, but I have so much fun doing it. And I get the giggles and I look forward to this every week. <laughs> but, you know, I think if we put someone that was quite a, a sober person in with us, we would not have had the same outcome with this project because essentially it started as a project. It, and we it, it did. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And we've learned from each other, but yeah. we also have a lot of fun doing it. I, and mm. I mentioned in one of the other episodes, if you have a look at every episode, the photos of always of us laughing and enjoying mm. what we're doing. And that's, I mean, and that is that filling a, a gap as well? Mm. Yeah. Well, gap of knowledge. Any... Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, definitely. Mm -hmm. it's one of the reasons I continue with my podcast is because every time I interview somebody, I, I learn some mm -hmm. new skills and some new ideas. It's mm -hmm. knowledge. It's important. Thank yeah. you so much, Narelle. That that's mm -hmm. it, it's an important reminder and to figure out what resources that we need to help us achieve our goals mm -hmm. and what we might, might not need either. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's another conversation with Morning Tea Marketing Misses. We've had four weeks of talking different planning ideas. As we come into the next month, we're going to be talking networking, and I tell you what, there's some serial networkers in this form. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's but 
look, we don't just, it, this, look, we'll talk about it. The, it. the points of networking is, you know, prioritising, knowing why you're doing all of that. We're going to share all that information, how to successfully build connections and build business. But you have to be here for the next month and listen to uh, all the different conversations. Remember to check us out on YouTube, read the show notes and f- follow all of us on all of the socials. We look forward to you joining us next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.